Hi there. I'm going to walk you through configuring the policies for the password alert extension and using Chrome App Management to deploy the password alert extension and policies. Please note that users are required to sign into their Chrome browser in order to receive the extension and policies. For more information about signing into Chrome, see the deployment documentation. In this first part, we'll configure the extension policies which define where alerts should be sent, domain auth secret, and if users should be prompted to initialize the password. First, open the Manage Policy Value text file in the Chrome folder. For a standard Google Apps deployment, you'll need to update the following values. Corp email domain with an at symbol in front of your domain name. I'm also entering the primary domain of my demo domain here. Then I'll update the security email address for where admin alerts are sent. And I'm entering the security group email address of my demo domain here. Next, update the whitelist top domains. This policy controls the top-level domains where you would like password alert disabled. This basically allows password reuse on these domains. Enter the top-level domain names here, separated by commas, and of course, this is optional. Then, let's define the report URL. Just replace the word example with your app ID. Next, you can change the should initialize password policy control to true if users should be prompted to sign in when the extension is first installed. In either case, whether you set this as true or false, Resign in is required for the extension to be initialized. Last, enter the domain auth secret if you have this configured in the server configuration file. In this demo, we have it set as Big Giants Fan in the config.python server settings. Configuring the domain auth secret removes the requirement for the end user to sign into Chrome for password alert. You can ignore the other values here with this setup. They're only used in SAML SSO implementations. You can get more information about SAML implementations in the deployment documentation. That's it for the managed policy value file, so go ahead and save and exit. Now let's go to admin.google.com. We need to configure Chrome App Management to push out the password alert extension with the policy. Navigate to Device Management, click on the Chrome Management link on the left-hand side, select App Management, then select the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Select Add Custom App, and enter the password alert extension ID into the ID field. Enter the URL for where the extension is hosted as well. Both of these are available in the deployment documentation. And then click Add. In the Chrome App Management view of the extension, click User Settings, and then select the group of users you want to deploy the extension to. Then enable Force Installation. If you're deploying the extension to an organizational unit, you'll need to click Override under Force Installation. This step isn't needed if you're deploying to the entire domain. Make sure Allow Installation is checked, and then click Save. Click Override under Configure if you're deploying to an organizational unit. And then click Upload Configuration File. Select the Managed Policy Value text file in your Chrome folder, click Open, and then click Save. Hey, congrats! You've successfully deployed the password alert extension and policies. If you have any questions, check out the Help Center where you can find the deployment documentation, and you can always ask questions in the Google for Work product forums.